These are the 1.4a notes. So the first thing I would do in your notebook, I would write down the three equations that we see at the top here. This is your slope formula. M is your slope. And then M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. The next one is slope intercept form, which is Y equals MX plus B. And the last one is point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So if you need an extra second to write those down, you can pause the video and then start it back up when you have those written down. What we are going to do first is finding the slope. And anytime we find the slope, we are going to be looking at the slope formula. So when I find the slope, and for these problems, what I would probably do is just write down the main word. I would probably just write problem number one, slope, and then make sure you write down the point 37 and 213. And that'll be a good enough example in order for you to understand what's happening when you look back at your notes later. When I find my slope, I have to label. My first point is called x1 and y1, and that's because it's the first point, the number one point and then x2 and y2. Then I'm going to plug it into the formula. y2, 13, minus y1, 7, over x2, 2, minus x1, 3. So once you have those in the correct place, then you're just going to subtract. 13 minus 7 is 6. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And I divide that out to make an answer of negative 6. Problem number 2. x1, y1, x2, y2. Take a second, see if you can set that up. Again, just writing down the word slope for this example is going to be good enough. Take a few seconds and try to set this up. So for this one, we have 1 minus 5 and 2 minus negative 3. And if you remember, when you have a minus negative, two negatives like that, it actually ends up giving you a positive number. So you would double plus it like that. And then you could simplify moving forward. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. And 2 plus 3 gets you 5. That is not a fraction that can be reduced. So your answer is negative 4 fifths. And remember, it's perfectly fine for your slope to be a fraction because you're thinking about it as rise over run anyway. Example number three, same thing, finding the slope. Label it x1, y1, x2, y2. Go ahead and solve that out. That should be your setup. Two negatives make a positive. Negative two over negative six. Again, you have that double negative. So these two will turn positive. And then you can reduce the fraction to six. Both of them can be divided by two you get a final answer of 1 over 3, slope of 1 third. So for problem number 4, there are two special cases that I want to talk about. 
I'm not going to give you the whole problem. I'm just going to give you towards the end of the problem. So one is if you have a zero at the top. Let's say you had zero divided by eight. When you do that, zero divided by eight actually gets you an answer of zero. That would be your slope. And a slope of zero, if you guys remember, looks like this. It's a horizontal line. However, if you had a number at the top, like eight divided by zero, if you type that into your calculator, it actually is gonna give you some sort of an error message that tells you you cannot divide by zero. And when we can't divide by zero, we call the slope undefined. Undefined. Anytime you're dividing by zero, it's called undefined. So what that would look like, it would be a vertical line straight up and down. So those are your two special cases that you have to watch out for as you're finding the slope. For the next couple problems, again, I'm just gonna kinda give you the words that are gonna be best. Write down the word equation, and then just make sure you write slope of 3 fourths and y int for intercept of five. So again, write the word equation, then write the slope of 3 fourths and y int a 5. So for this one, all we are doing is just writing it directly into slope-intercept form. Because you have the slope and the intercept, there is no need to do any math. All you have to do is put the 3 fourths in for m, and the five in for the letter B. That's it, there's my final answer. For problem number six, it's the same type of thing as problem number five. So your slope of M and your y-intercept of B. Notice that the B is a fraction that doesn't change anything. It still goes in for the letter B, and M is still your slope. See if you can write that equation. You should have written y equals negative 6x plus 1 half. Okay, so for the next problems, 7 and 8, we are actually going to be using one of the formulas from up above this one over here called point slope. So we're gonna be using this formula for problems seven, eight, nine, and 10. So for problem number seven, probably wanna write down the word equation. Make sure you have the point of negative three, one, and the slope of four. Those are the important words that you'd wanna write down. Because you have the word point and slope, that's a nice indication that you need to actually use the point slope formula. So point slope formula, I'll just write it here so I can reference it. And then our four is our slope of M. Three, negative three is our X1, positive one is our Y1. And we're gonna plug everything into the right place. Now this letter Y, and this letter X are going to stay the letter Y and the letter X. You're never gonna put anything in for that. So that stays a Y. And then everything else you're gonna change. Y1 is one, M is four. That's the X that stays as an X. And then minus X1, so it's a minus and a negative three. You guys already know what to do with that minus negative. We've done it a couple times already. Change that to a plus. And from here, the directions do ask us to write it in slope intercept form. That means they want it to look like y equals mx plus b. We have a little bit of math to do. You're gonna distribute the four. That gets us y minus one equals four x plus 12, and slope-intercept form means they want us to solve for y, so we want to get y by itself by adding 1.
This results in a final answer of 4x plus 13. So once more, we distributed the 4 and then moved the 1 to the other side. Problem number 8, a very similar process. So again, you have your slope of negative 5 and a point of negative 8, negative 2. See if you can set the things up, the equation up, putting them in the right places. M and X1, Y1. I'll give you about 15 seconds. So there's the setup. I have a lot of double negatives here, so I'm going to change that to a plus as well as that to a plus. Distribute. And then you have one last step. Subtract the two. Final answer, y equals negative 5x plus 42. Sorry, negative 5x minus 42. Okay. Problem number 9, if you notice, gives us a fraction answer. It's not a big deal. We have our calculator app on our phone or the calculator on our Google Chromebook. So this one just calls the point P. It doesn't change anything. This is still our X1 and our Y1, and of course we still have our M. So as you write this example down, probably just this top piece of information, all this right here, that's probably all you need. So this is the same type of problem as the ones we were just working on is seven and eight. We're just going to have a fraction in for our m. See if you can set it up and work out the problem as far as you can. One half times x is just one half x. And then when you multiply one half times six, you get three. You can also think about it as just what is half of six. We all know half of six is three. So we're going to bring that down as minus three. Add four to both sides. Getting us a final answer of y equals one half x plus one. Problem number 10 is just a little bit different. They're actually going to make us find the slope first. So if you notice on the other ones we were working on, they gave us the slope. They said the slope is whatever. Here, they're just giving us two points. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we find the slope. And when we find the slope, we're going to go back to that very first slope formula that we were working with. The m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Two minus five over four minus one.
2 minus 5 is negative 3. 4 minus 1, positive 3. And when I divide that all the way out, I get negative 1 from my slope. The problem, though, doesn't just ask for the slope. It actually asks for the equation. So we're only part 1 done of 2. So your second step is to take that slope, m, and take our x1 and our y1 and plug it back into point slope form, the same thing we were working on on problem 9. y minus y1, 5, equals the slope that I found, negative 1, x minus x1, right up here from this circle. From there, distribute the negative 1, and then move the 5 to the other side, and that'll give you your final answer. I'll give you just a moment. You should get y equals negative 1x plus 6. Great answer. Or you might see it written without the 1. Oftentimes for slopes, if you have a 1 in front, they often leave it off and they can just write it as negative x plus 6. Both of those are great answers. Okay, those are your notes for today. If you have any questions, you let me know. Great job.